I am ashamed because I know what Mr. Trump is. He is a racist. He is a con man. And he is a cheat. That comment from President Donald Trump's ex-personal lawyer setting the tone for a day of explosive testimony on Capitol Hill. I am ashamed of my weakness and my misplaced loyalty, of the things I did for Mr. Trump in an effort to protect and promote him. Michael Cohen, a one-time member of the president's inner circle, has evolved from Trump's fixer to a foe. The man who spent a decade at Trump's right hand told Congress today his former boss covered up crimes committed throughout the 2016 campaign that sent him to the White House. Here's Michael Cohen now. On WikiLeaks, Cohen says Trump knew in advance about a massive dump of emails by the website that would cripple his Democratic presidential rival Hillary Clinton's campaign. Trump knew from Roger Stone in advance about the WikiLeaks drop of emails. Mr. Trump responded by stating to the effect, wouldn't that be great? Cohen also says Trump knew of and directed negotiations to build a Trump skyscraper in Moscow. In his way, he was telling me to lie. Cohen has pleaded guilty to lying to Congress about the project. You need to know that Mr. Trump's personal lawyers reviewed and edited my statement to Congress about the timing of the Moscow Tower negotiations before I gave it. Michael Cohen, fraudster, a cheat, convicted felon, and in two months a federal inmate. The hearing before a Democratic-led House of Representatives committee got off to a rocky start when the panel's top Republican challenged Cohen's credibility. Certainly it's the first time a convicted perjurer has been brought back to be a star witness in a hearing. But Cohen also says he doesn't have direct evidence that Trump's campaign knowingly conspired with Russia to sway the vote. A special counsel, Robert Mueller, appears close to wrapping up his investigation. I also knew that nothing went on in Trump world, especially the campaign, without Mr. Trump's knowledge and approval. In addition to lying to Congress, Cohen pleaded guilty last year to violating campaign finance laws in relation to hush money payments to two women who alleged they had affairs with Trump. He presented a copy of the checks he claims were to repay him, signed by Trump after he became president. Trump fired back on Twitter, writing in part, he did bad things unrelated to Trump. He is lying in order to reduce his prison sentence. And now a judge has already set a three-year prison term for Cohen, which is scheduled to begin in May. And today, likely the last chance we have to hear from Cohen before he's sent to jail. Tomorrow, he'll appear before the House Intelligence Panel, but privately.